Hey there, everybody. Hey, this is Limp. Hey, man, obviously, uh, I have made a big mistake and learned a, 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 an important lesson. First of all, I want to thank Danny the Plumber for making the comment that he made because it made me realize that you got to be detailed about some of the videos you're shooting because if you don't, somebody can somebody can think get the wrong idea because you didn't give enough information about the subject that you're talking about and think that you're a dirtbag loser piece of shit father and i want to thank you danny look man i'm the same way man if i see a if i see somebody abusing his family and spending money on on all this crap for himself and not taking care of his family especially if i knew where they was staying at i would at least go over there and beat the shit out of him once or twice to get to get his head right you know especially or if it, even if it was a good friend i'd still beat the crap out of him and get his head right and if i and if i couldn't beat the shit out of him because he was too big i would talk shit about him and go find somebody else to beat his ass so anyway, man, thank you, Danny, for being concerned, man, hands down. Here's the rest of the story on the LTD. I think I might have said that in the video. Uh, I'll give you a little more information. I might not have said it. I might not have said more information. We'll have to see. I think I might have said we'll have to see. I don't know. Eye Candy was one of my videos. It was on there, and I said, now we're going to have to see about this. I showed the motor sitting there, you know. And we're going to have to see about that. But let me tell you this, man. At the same time that I bought my my, my uh, Chevy C10, I paid for it, and I bought my wife a car, okay? And I got this money for a settlement. And I tried to go buy a house with the rest of the money. After buying my wife a car, buying my, my C10, I tried to go find a house. Problem is, is if you go... Move, it, move from state to state, and you don't got a job in that hometown for at least two years, bank won't even talk to you. They don't care how much money you got down. They ain't even going to give it a lick. So, I went and I talked to my sister-in-law. And I told my sister-in-law, hey, I need you to buy a house. She says, my credit's shot. I said, but you've lived here. You're a residence. What's it going to take to fix your credit? She says, well, let me look at all the bills and let me talk to some people and see how much it's going to take. And, and she says, if and she called me, I think it, this was even planned, you know, right after the, right after I bought my wife's car. That's when it was, I talked to her about it because we found out we couldn't buy a home. And she says, it's going to take me eight to $12,000 to get my credit good. And I said, okay. So we paid her eight to twelve thousand dollars. Then she starts looking for a house. During the meantime, I'm living in hotels. Them hotels will suck it dry. And I tried to find an apartment, but nobody wanted to. Nobody wanted to. Uh, nobody want look. And this is another reason. I got two dogs, a Chihuahua. I got these two big dogs, a Chihuahua and a bird. And it's very hard to find an apartment out there. Like you can go to the deluxe inn or not, you know, or you can go to the, the, the extended stays or something like that. Or you can go live in, uh, uh like it's, I live in a Motel 6 because that's the only places that I can stay. The extended stay places are the nice apartment kind of things where you could go, you know, they still wanted, uh, they, you know, they wouldn't take dogs or they just wouldn't do it. You know, the, the Motel 6 charges like a, I think it was like a two hundred dollar posit per pet, and they could not, and they didn't. They was good boys. They was good boys, man. They didn't. They didn't potty and poop all over the floor. <clears throat> but I was surprised to find <clears throat> a Motel Six that would take all these animals. And so, anyways, let me get back to the story. So my sister finally finds a place to stay. About five or six, seven, eight months later, after the damn hotel fees of me living at Motel 6 and, and trying to find something cheaper, I think we ended up Motel 6, one other something or another, but I think it, it had to be Motel 6. And finally, my sister finally got the place, and if you'll notice in my videos, that's where I was staying with, my, my sister-in-law. I stayed with her because I helped her buy her home so she could give me a place to stay until I found my home. So I took care of my family first and spent all of my money. The majority of part of my money, I spent on my family. I spent it on my sister-in-law taking care of her, 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 her personal finances. I didn't care. Because in the past, that girl's helped me out a lot. Anytime I needed money in the past, any, no matter what kind of person I used to be in the past, if she seen her sister's bank, it was my sister-in-law, if she seen her sister's bank account get even just a little bit, at least in a little bit low, she wouldn't even ask her. 
she would just deposit it in the bank because they had a joint account together. She didn't even ask. So, you know, and, and I had paid her back money on top of that, too, for helping me out. And then I asked her, hey, well, you need to get your own house or something. Do something here because uh, they're not selling me a house for shit. Anyway, that's a story, y'all. I did not just now buy that Ford LTD. No way in hell. My, my wife would beat my ass. If I went out and tried to buy that LTD, she, would, she wouldn't even be with me. She would beat me black and blue and say, keys are in the truck, bitch. Don't even come back. Here's your clothes. She'd toss them out the window. <laughs> Ain't no way in hell my wife would be, be, be with me if I, st if I paid cash for that LTD. Uh, I, I want to go in there and wake her up right now and, and ask her. I should have her sitting up here taking up, but she's sleeping. She works nights at Walmart, and I don't want to wake her up. And if I happen to uh, catch her uh, off guard, Sometime or if I ever do a live feed, you just ask her that. Boy, she she wouldn't. She barely budged on a thousand dollars. Just let me uh, let them hold it. You know, I put a thousand dollars down on it. I let them hold the damn thing, and I was gonna supposed to work it off. That's all it was, dude. And I was paint cars for him, paint cars for me. Try to turn it and sell it. Anyway, I've hit. I had to do so many clips here lately because I can't, you know, of of, of everything that that I forget all the details and everything of, of what I shoot. And I'll be telling you, man, I'm gonna be watching my videos forwards and backwards, backwards and forwards now. And like I said, Danny, thank you for ta thank you for taking up for my family. I do not uh, think you're an ass at all, dude. You're kind of like me, dude. You'll take up for what's right, and you'll beat the crap out of somebody. But them words hurt me to death, bro. At first, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Selfish, self-centered son of a bitch. Oh, it was like, pow, pow, pow. It's a good thing me and Danny the Plumber wasn't in the bar, man. I'd had bruises all over my ass where I got the rest of the information out to him. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, bro. I didn't mean to hit you. I thought you meant today you paid for it, you dumb motherfucker. You should have said it was two years ago. Why'd you even bring it up? <laughs> Danny, you're a cool dude, man. I like you. You got balls of steel, man. You ain't afraid to spit it and say it no matter who's around, bro. <laughs> anyway, y'all be good, man. And I'll get off here and leave that alone, dude. But, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me get back to Pete, man. I worked hard for him. I helped him, uh... I helped, uh, I helped him dig holes all in his yard, man. I'm telling you, man, it's a bitch digging holes, especially with a one-legged man like me, man. I was standing up on one foot, just, you know how you stand up on a shovel and you swing back and forth with a shovel until it goes in the ground. It's a little harder to do when you got one foot because you, you're having to counterbalance yourself. <laughs> anyway... And I kept, he kept trying to, don't carry the bags of concrete. Don't carry the, don't carry the, 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 you know, don't carry this, don't carry. I said, Pete, it's okay. I can carry stuff. I put all my weight on my right foot. It's all right, dude. I can still dig. He, he tried to make me sit down and do all the easy jobs, man. I said, no, 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 no. I'll tell you what, I'll dig the holes, man. You can go to the store. You can drive around and do whatever. Because I don't really need to be driving around too much, you know. Plus that, uh, you know, my wife's car. I, I, shit, that thing, you know, it's a, it's not a junk or anything. It, well, yeah, it is a junker. It won't pass the emission controls. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with that. It's got some wiring problem with the ECM box or something. The main computer, it's got a problem with it. But anyway, Pete told me I did a good job, man. And I told him thank you for being friends for me. And thank you for watching out for me. I need to get to say I'm muddy as hell, man come in the door and the first thing I see is but everybody thinks I'm a dick because I bought an LTD instead of having to pay for my <laughs> having to pay for everything like I'm supposed to be paying for things yeah I'm a good boy y'all no I would never do that anyway I'm gonna get off here and let y'all go I need to get in the shower and wash my nasty butt off man I'm mud muddy from head to toe I think look at my hair man it's all stuck together it stands up on its own look at that It's because I had a handful of mud and I went. <laughs> it made it stand down though. <laughs> and Volkswagen Planet, thank you very much for all the comments you make. DA Shop, thank you for all the comments you make. Y'all need to check out DA Shop. I don't know if he's got any video content, but he's sure to have a lot of knowledge under his belt. Volkswagen Planet, he has got a shitload of knowledge under his belt. We're all a group of people here. I can just go on and on and on. Uh, 
I forget some of the others, man. I got to read them. You know, I, I just know what they tell me. I don't know names. I'm not good with names and numbers, man. I'm just bad at that. But uh, anyway, thank you for that. Snoopy, he's a good one. Snoopy is a good guy. Uh, man, I wish I could think of them all, dude. There's just so many people that, that are that are subscribing to my channels. I'm, I, I got like almost 199 of them, and uh, I, I thought that was very little. And then a couple of people on there said, man, feel very lucky. I only got this much, or I only got this much, or I only got this much. I am very grateful to everybody that watches my channel. And I'm very grateful to every one of my subscribers. And I will always stand up for right. I will always do the right thing. And I will never, 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 never go out and do something as stupid as go out there and buy a car right now as the condition that I'm in financially right now. Shit. I bet my my my, my family better have a three-bedroom house and all the kind of luxuries before I go do something like that. Unless it's something that I'm buying to make money and turn it. And that's what my wife told me. You can't have two toys. You're gonna, you can have your C10, or you can have the LTD. Y if you want to buy the LTD with a little bit of down payment and on consignment, put your paint job on it, sell it, and pay him what you owe him and keep the rest of the money, then that's fine with me. There ain't no way in hell she was gonna let me out. Mama, I don't, mama wears the britches in this family. She ain't never. Anyway, let me get off here and quit repeating myself, but I just wanted to make that absolutely clear out there, man. I don't even think Pete would have even let me. He had to punch me in my damn face. He found out I would have put 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 that kind of money, started buying something like that in the in the in, in, recently like this in the condition that I am in. Anyway, catch y'all later, man. Peace out. Y'all be good. <laughs> Till next time.